Hello everyone, and welcome back to Zoo Tycoon, where we are here in my field of giraffes. My land of giraffes? Yes, yes. That is what this will one day be known as. The land of giraffes. But unfortunately, right now, it's known as the land of messy people. What kind of ridiculousness is this? Do you see this chaos? I can't believe it. I offer these people the opportunity to come and see my beautiful giraffes here in our wonderful park. And what do they do? Throw their trash on the ground. It's almost as though they expect me to provide janitors or something. <sighs> well, being a zookeeper isn't quite as easy as I was hoping. I am not exactly frolicking in fields full of baby giraffes just yet, but we're back and I am so excited, you guys. I am just tickled and thrilled because all I can do is come and look again and again and again at our beautiful giraffes and dream about the day when we will have access to Zoo Planet, which will take the realism that you see here to an even more realistic level and give us all of the freedom of freeform building a perfect perfect world for the giraffes that I hope we will be able to coo over. And I mean, think about it. We will have individual genomes, DNA, for the different giraffes in Planet Zoo that will cause different inheritances in the babies. The entire game is built around making it possible. <gasps> yes! Yes! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, that was so cool. But the entire game will be built around making it possible to breed your zoo animals and to take good care of them. And to that purpose in the game, you will be able to have giraffes, for instance, that will have special genomes, DNA, that will differentiate different traits about them, what they look like, how tall they are, how their coat is colored, uh, if they have quirky spots here that might be passed on to their children, even their personality, how long they will end up living. All of those things are written into all of our DNA, and it's going to be written into the giraffes that we will be able to take care of in Zoo planet and I'm just doing freaking backflips. They can take all my money and I will buy all of the DLC, especially if I can have my little Goldian finches. Yes, you chickenberry. Yes, you. Uh, here in, in like Zoo Planet 2. That would be so cool. But alright, enough of my rambling and enough of my pictures of giraffe butts that I like to take. Let's go ahead. Oh, no, my photo. I hope it was saved. Oh, and the Flamingo Lake cleaning station it happens to need some attention. Also, good news, guys. We were able to actually afford a zookeeper. So I have hired ourselves a brand new zookeeper. Let's go ahead and meet her. We have Janine, and she is going to help us by refilling the feeding and cleaning stations and repairing the exhibit enrichment items. So thank goodness she's going to be, uh, no, I don't want to fire her. Like, calm down. I don't want to train her to level three yet either because I can't afford that. Uh, but we are starting to make some progress in this particular zoo, which makes me very happy, uh, including, <gasps> are you guys ready for this? Are you guys ready for this? Because I'm so ready for this. Da, 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 a large grassland exhibit. Holy cow. Holy giraffes. Is that Goulian finches again? I can't tell. No, those look like a completely different kind of parrot. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. But we have the large grassland exhibit. This is going to be the hopeful home of many giraffes. So let's actually start like back here. Because I want to just basically have, like, fields of giraffes. I'm not joking. <gasps> yes! Oh my gosh, we have lions now. We have lions! And the Nilea antelope, which if we want lions, we're going to need antelope, wildebeest, zebra, and other animals that they would feed on after all. Not that you will see any feeding here in this park. In an actual safari, you just may because those are protected areas where the wild animals live out their wild ways. But it would be kind of nice to have the prey and predator items for everyone to see in our park. Wait, an ice cream stand? I want to have an ice cream stand. That reminds me so much of the ice cream stands that we used to make in our Zoo Tycoon 2 days. That was so fun. Oh, and we definitely need to be doing more research. That is a huge thing I need to be paying attention to. Uh, let's go ahead and connect up the exhibit to this exhibit right now. And then let's also connect it to the zookeeper station. I want to put a whole bunch of decorations and some other stands in between. But let's go ahead and move 
are two giraffes. So these little ones have been quite patient. A little bit of poop to scoop. I, oops, nope, I didn't want to move the exhibit. That was not what I meant to do. I'm sure that was a wild ride for the giraffe. I, please stop. That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> Sometimes the world is a little bit uh, easier to kind of flummox than you would assume. Please connect it to everything again. Thank you very much. What I wanted to do is I want to move Summer. So we're going to go ahead. We are going to pick up Summer who is now, oh no, <laughs> level 14 and level 12. And apparently once an animal hits level 15, it means they are old and experienced and they no longer will have an interest in breeding. But that's okay. Maybe we can have like the retirement fields. I actually love that idea. So let's go ahead and move Bluto and Summer. I really want Summer to have more babies and to be able to name Summer's babies. Uh, did I move both of them? Are you guys? Oh, there we go. Okay, so I think they get moved one at a time maybe. But uh, I, I really want Summer to have babies so that I can name her babies like Spring, Autumn, Winter which might as well be like a fantasy name for a giraffe. They're not gonna be around in the winter. Uh, I heard from some of my, let's do exhibit items. <gasps> Here we go, the giraffes are arriving. Okay, let's do the vegetable feeding station for the giraffes. Ooh, fruit feeding, yes. I bet our giraffes would love a fruit feeding station as well. Let's do grass and leaves here first. I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade it. Oosh. Let's be careful because we don't really need to upgrade it till we have like more animals too. And then I'm gonna do a fruit feeding station over here, which I think they'll enjoy. And then we need to do like a cleaning station. I love how huge the large exhibits are. Let's do a cleaning station over here so we can pretend it's like a little waterfall. And so help me, I hope we can build really cool waterfalls. Let's do the stone bird this time. I hope we can build really cool waterfalls in Planet Zoo because that would be amazing. Um, and then let's go ahead and build enrichment for our giraffes. What would they like? Maybe an activity center, maybe a rope toy. Giraffes really will just spend most of their day feeding um, because they are ruminants. They might like a wading pool. I kind of want to put a wading pool down. Giraffes actually, <laughs> you've come to the right place by the way if you would love to know more giraffe facts. That's totally something I can help you with. But giraffes actually are not, like they don't need to go and drink tons of water. Like I drink water like a fish all day, especially cause I'm yammering to all of you guys and need it to take care of my throat and vocal cords. But a giraffe will get most of its water sources from the plants that it eats. So it only needs like a really short little sip of water every day. I really actually like the painted oasis pool. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in. Um, and really, oh, my golden finches! Up close and personal with those beautiful purple chest and stunning green backs. Oh, all of the finches that you see right here, by the way, Again, you're in the right place, my wonderful pixel biologist. If you wished to learn a lot of animal facts while we ramble through our storytelling adventures. But when it comes to Gouldian finches, we talked about sexual dimorphism among the red lemurs the other day and how males and females will look different. It is the same with the Gouldian finches. They all have uh, different, well, they have a wide range of different color variants, but the typical color is your green back, red headed bird with a lilac chest, yellow body, blue under the wings. They are ridiculously amazing for how many colors that they have. That's one of the reasons I love them so much. But the males will be the ones with the really, really vibrant heads and the vibrant, vibrant chest. So if you see two Gouldian finches and they're the same color, but the males have like little red lipstick on their beaks. Uh, like one has a red lipstick on its beak and it's just a lot more vibrant and bright. That will be the male and the female will be the one that's a little bit more drab. What just happened? A drought? Dry weather is putting a serious strain on your animals, strongly increasing their feeding and cleaning needs. <gasps> we have a drought here? I am so glad I just built a wading pool. Uh, but anyway, that's Gouldian finches, and I don't think our giraffes will do much with an activity center, but I want them to be really happy. 
So we're gonna do some carved Kapothni kap activity center research, uh, just in case they're curious, like for a different spot to browse. And I think I can actually, they're definitely not using climbing frames. I think I can actually, yeah, there you go. Boom, that research went pretty quickly. And do they have everything they need? I think so. Can I do anything about this crisis that we're facing? So crisis details. We can do a strike team. Okay, incredibly high temperatures and dry weather are putting a serious strain on your animal's living conditions, regardless of the exhibit they're inhabiting. As a result, their food con uh, consumption and desire to shower are skyrocketing, draining both their feeding and cleaning stations at an alarming rate. Unfortunately, nobody can control the weather. So you and your staff can't do much apart from rolling up your sleeves and working extra hard to keep the animals happy. The crisis relief packages take the form of more or less costly partnerships. So we can do a strike team. A team of young volunteers was sent by NGO to assist you and help you with your animals. As they're inexperienced, they probably won't be a huge help though. And then we can do resident volunteers. Some experienced volunteers will be sent by NGO and will be staying at your zoo for the whole drought duration. This will alleviate the burden on your staff. That would be interesting. And then we could do a full-scale rescue operation, which would cancel out all of the effects. But we don't have that many animals, so I kind of think that we'll be okay. We'll get alerts if anything is out. Um, guess want to see sensory enrichment. Can't do that. I'm not... Well, I guess I could release. Get any animal to level 15 and release them to the wild. Dang it. I think that, unfortunately, one of... Oh! He just messed with the activity center! I think Bluto is about to hit level 15, to be honest. And when he does, that means he's too old for breeding. He'll be uninterested. Um, and... Oh, that's beautiful. Bluto, I want to take a picture of you like that. The guests, yes, I know they're disappointed I didn't do the demonstration. I am not a chimpanzee, nor do I have a chimpanzee right now. You people need to be patient. <gasps> Bluto! Oh my gosh! That's literally a postcard. Can I, can I just like use that for my Patreon postcard for the month? Holy cow, that's amazing. All right, the cleaning station at Savannah Rock 1 has run out and I need to refill it. Okay, how can I go there? Okay, so that's this one. Got it. All right. Yeah, I think we can handle it when we're told, like, hey, it needs refilled. We can do this. Because we need the money. We need the money so we can take care of our drafts. Also, I did learn, by the way, guys, that no, unfortunately, any of the mini exhibit animals will not breed. So let's go ahead and adopt a few more of them. We're gonna go ahead and adopt another mongoose, another white tail mongoose. Uh, how about, and I think, yeah, the, the higher level the animal though, the more zoo fame you get. And when they're so cheap, let's just go ahead and get Carl, because Carl sounds cool. And let's get Cinnamon, because I love animals named Cinnamon. And that I think will help our zoo fame. Uh, and it will also actually help the animals be happier because now these guys have all of their social needs met. We talked a little bit about mongoose before. I've already droned on and on to you guys about giraffes and Gouldy and finches, two of my favorites <laughs> today. So I won't go into mongoose, but let's actually rename the exhibit so that I can remember that this is mongoose rock. Mongoose rock. There we go. Yeah, I want to be able to remember which one it is. All right, and then let's come over how the lemurs doing. The same thing with the lemurs. Let's make sure we have three lemurs in each because they, the mini exhibits cannot breed. And just another planet uh, zoo sort of nod of excitement. The small animals, including spiders, can breed. Yeah, there's going to be small animals. There's going to be lemurs. You can actually make your own exhibits for them and they can breed. So I'm very excited about that. That's going to be awesome. Rose, what a lovely name. 71. Or we could go with Barney or Alma. I think I want Rose because Rose sounds just like such a lovely red lemur. And we will be talking more about red lemurs in the future too. And hopefully that is what you're doing over here. Uh, lemur, lemur person. All right, yay, all right, we're working on fame. I totally forgot that this thing needs repaired. Uh, can I upgrade the soft, let's upgrade the soft drink stand to make it nicer. And then we're gonna make it normal priced as a result, right next to the upgraded restrooms. 
that we just repaired, so they're good. <gasps> I feel so fancy. I feel like we're doing a great job now, guys, even in the midst of a drought. So how are things going here? Okay, there's a lot of poop to scoop. I don't think my zookeeper is doing the best. <gasps> Another feeding station has run out on Tropical Rock 1. Oh, that's Lemur Island A. Uh, okay, what was the first animal we, we got when we came here? Was it Star? Gwen? I think it was Star was the one that I just, oh, you guys. Oh my gosh. I think it was Star that was the one that just made me completely fall in love. Um, so let's name this one too, so we know. Uh, Lemur. Uh, actually, let's name it after a different fruit, maybe? Uh, so Lemur. Lemur Loof or Lemur Log? Let's name it Lemur Log, actually. <gasps> we have a level 15! Holy cow! We have a famous giraffe now! Oh my gosh! Oh, and I need to still fill it. Well, okay. Sorry, guys. So much going on. All right, first things first. New challenge, water, water. Oh my gosh, we're in the middle of a drought. We have challenges popping up left and right. Oh my goodness. But we need to come over and we definitely need to see our level 15 amazing giraffe. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I can't believe he's done it. And I can't believe that we need to clean up his poop already. Summer! Wow! Giraffes only sleep for like four minutes a day, so it's kind of amazing that we caught that. But Bluto is now max level, you guys. <gasps> what are we gonna do? Oops, no, Lindsay! Attention guest, very excited to let you know that we've adopted a new Cordorafon giraffe. Well, that was a long time ago, Lindsay. Let me admire Bluto. That's what I wanted to do. Look at him. He is an old boy now. Too old, unfortunately, to be able to breed from the sounds of it. Butterflies going by. Oh, this is amazing. Ah, oh, and everything is running out of water. Okay, I might actually need to hire some help. All right, you guys. Well, we're in the middle of a drought. We're in the middle of uh, celebrating that, you know, Bluto is actually now level 15. There's a lot going on. I actually thought we were going to spend some time preparing to go to another zoo so that we could start working in two places at once and getting different types of animals up and going. But clearly there is a lot we need to do here. Holy cow. Challenges left and right. There, we have a drought. This we have a giraffe that's old and now no longer interested in breeding. So we need to get a new one. We have antelope who need to become happier. There's a lot going on, and I will see you guys next time. So remember, guys, if you could, do please leave a like to toss a treat or scoop some poop. I could use the help. If you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> These kids. <laughs> Bye, guys.